What is up, peeps? This is for the Win TCG, and let's welcome you back to another YouTube video. And today we have our first um, actual archetype from Unbroken Bonds on the channel. I know it's been a little bit of time, um, and I do apologize for that, but um, it has been a real struggle to kind of build the collection. Uh, with Unbroken Bonds, I haven't had the finances to actually purchase a bunch of codes, unfortunately, and I don't have an unlocked account, so I have to build up my collection to be able to make some decks. Um, with that said, though, there's been a ton of support from you guys when it comes to um, uh, providing me with code so I can open up packs and get more stuff and trade and do all of that kind of stuff. And I, I did mention it briefly in the last video, but I lost track because of the, the game I was playing. Um, but a huge shout out to Shane Northcott, if I'm saying your surname correct. should be right. I should remember it. Um, he provided me some codes recently. To again help out, and I actually uh, packed a Dedenne GX, um, a full art Dedenne GX, which is kind of dope. So yeah, uh, thanks to him, and, uh, and and also a fan from the Czech Republic who did also provide me some codes. Um, yeah, for helping out so much, it genuinely helped. I managed to get some stuff, trade some bits away, and uh, build a deck. So, with that said, this deck I wanted to do because it just summarizes the channel perfectly. It's just a bit of a meme, it's a bit of fun, and it can hit crazy numbers, right? That's exactly what we want to see. So it is Stunfist Spiritomb, and it's a bit of a crazy deck, and uh, I, I kind of I'm, have fallen in love with it a little bit after testing it for a bit. And uh, yeah, so the, if you don't know what this deck does, basically Stunfisk has an attack for a DCE where it does 30 damage for every Pokemon you have in play with a damage counter on it. And then Spiritomb has an ability where you can drop a damage counter onto it. So you can probably see the synergy from the get-go. Now there are some other stuff we can use to... to really maximize the potential of the deck um, and try and cover some of our weak points. Um, one of our biggest weak points is spread. Uh, spread is just gonna tear us apart. So, although it can help us effectively, right? Because it puts damage on our side and we can just smack back like with full damage. But, uh, oh, do I attach that now? I'm not confident in that. Um, but we have stuff to cover this. So we have, uh, for example, I'm gonna play these acrobites quickly, see what we get. Okay, Ultra Ball, that's good. Um, we have Mew. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, we have Mew in here. Uh, I think Mew is quite important. Okay, what do we discard? We have actually have good stuff here. Uh, let's get rid of the E-Power and the Aqua Bikes. I'm going to go for a uh, Cynthia. Yeah, we have Mew. We have Lele, believe it or not, which I'll address soon. And we have Damage Mover. This I'm going to explain. So I'm pretty sure you can kind of think in your head what exactly I, I, I plan to do with Damage Mover. Move damage, right? Um, but it covers that um, issue in the deck where you're not going to have... Um, full bench damage all the time because we need to bench things like Stunfisk, which has no way of putting damage onto it. So the way we deal with that is using Damage Mover. So we use Damage Mover to put a damage counter onto Stunfisk. By the way, we only want a, like one damage counter on all of our Pokemon um, to get the best outcome because we don't want to have a Stunfisk with like three damage counters on it, yada yada, right? And um, that would just cause a lot of issues. It makes it a lot easier to knock out. You know, you see where I'm coming from. So yeah, we have a damage mover to move damage about to our, our Mew, to our Stunfist, to our Lele, uh, which shouldn't be an issue because we actually play Shrine. Um, so there's a small mini combo, I guess, to get damage on the Lele and make it usable still in this deck. Is uh, We have Shrine of Punishment to deal damage to our opponent. And if we play Lele, Shrine would hit us. And hopefully we find in short time a Field Blower, which we play in this deck, to get rid of the Shrine. So our Lele doesn't build up in damage and we have problems. So that's kind of something I've included in this deck as well to allow us to play things like Lele. I did try and do the Dene GX in here, um, but it was just a bit too much. We're discarding too many valuable resources all the time. So I think Lele is probably the better outcome. Um, I saw that happening a million miles off. <laughs> We're just going to have to go for the coin flip, I'm afraid. And if we fail, then so be it. Um, oh, getting rid of the supports this way is kind of bad. But let's get ourselves a... Another Spiritomb. This Blacephalon doesn't have bench spread, does it? I don't think it does, so that's cool with me. Also, what's kind of neat is you can use Spiritomb as like an alternative attacker. Um, ah, here we go. You're about to see this come into play. So we're going to damage move uh, this one onto the Stung Fisk there. And then we can now, again, use our, our Building Spite ability, which is kind of dope. Uh, we can drop a Lele, we can drop a Mew, but I really don't see this deck playing anything like that at all. Where they have spread. Uh, I think we just go for the coin flip and see if we got this. I think we get KO if we get heads, right? Oh, stop it. I think we had KO there. That's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 with the choice band. We had KO there. Oh, God. So, you can see that that was turn 2, was it? And we're hitting 180 damage if it wasn't for the coin flip. So, turn to 180 damage, fantastic. Um, and there's one card that would go so well in this deck, but I just 
it's it's been banned in PTC Joe currently because of probably a bug, but it's Aether Paradise. Aether Paradise gives this with one damage counter on it, which again is our ideal, um, 130 HP, which makes it quite hard to get one hit KO by Zorak and stuff, which is still quite um, prevalent in the format. But uh, with that said, I don't think HP is that big of a deal now for non-GX Pokemon because most GX decks are going to be one-shotting you anyway nowadays um, when it comes to things, so... It's not really that big a deal. Like, Pikron's going to one-shot us. Persephalon's going to one-shot us. Reshiram's going to one-shot us. It's not really that big a deal, no matter how big our HP is as a non-GX attacker. So, that's what I'm thinking to myself anyway. Uh, with that said, let's go for this. Uh, let's drop a choice band here. Let's hope we get a damage mover. We don't. All right, come on. Drop the heads. Hit me with the heads. Come on. Come on, please. Yeah, there we go. One shot of Persephalon. Here we are. Good stuff. All right. So, um, I think this is pretty much just smooth sailing from now on. If this thing goes down, then we can promote the active, this stun fierce score. We could promote this one with, with the no damage on it. Um, we don't really need to worry about putting damage on the active in this deck because, well, this is baby Bicephalon that just had a text Bicephalon here. Oh, baby Bicephalon. What is this? Terminal your face. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I think baby, or I think it's called, isn't it Blown? Blown deck? Um, I think it's, yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's fun. I'd love to do this as well. This is what I was saying, like, about Unwrinkled Bonds. There's so many archetypes just in this set. It's insane. It's so hard to keep track of. I forget I forget about Bl Baby Blacephalon. There's this other card I want to do that's not really got much attention, but it just looks fun. Oh, there's so much happening. Ah, I forgot Pokegear. Pokegear would be good in this deck. Yes, it would, but... What, believe it or not, this deck is actually kind of tight. <laughs> there's so much stuff you can do with it. I think Electro Power is such a cool little thing. Um... Yeah, this deck is quite genuinely consistent, and I love it. It's a meme deck. It hits high damage. Also, I was going to say this earlier, but I got caught kind of just saying what I do and going in my train of thought. But um, Anguish Cry can be a decent attack as well. If you do go to the point in which you get, like, three damage counters on this, which is something you can opt into doing, um, you'll be hitting, um, what is it? Yeah, 100 damage. Uh, if you go to 4, 120, 5, if you really want to, 150. Uh, choice Band, 180. So Spiritomb can go in with some damage as well. But uh, it's not the ideal. It's just the secondary attacker, effectively. Right. One thing's one thing is for sure, and this uh, this deck is definitely not got any spread. So this Mew doesn't need to go down. Oh damn! We haven't got another. All right. We're still hitting uh, one shots on this, so that's fine. Just thinking: Do I bench a Lele and get a Cynthia, or do I just keep rolling? It seems like we can just keep rolling right now. So let's just keep rolling. Uh, let's just keep this this game going. Let's keep doing that. Okay. Yeah, that seems dope. We could just throw this Stumpfist back into deck with that. And I want to get a damage mover. So, I don't need it, but I want it. I want it. I, I'm just greedy. I just want a damage mover. Come on. <laughs> we got it. Yeah. Yeah, we do. All right, let's move that to this one. And uh, let's go for another building spike all right sweet we can we can even do the electro power but we, we don't need it we don't need it we're hitting 150 right oh yeah okay here we go obviously they're gonna go one hit ko us in return then we're gonna one hit KO them in return this is just gonna be like a back and forth type deal um and one thing i do play in this deck which you might see soon is black market prism star um and that's for the usually the later part of the latter part of the game where we will probably be out of stun fisks because of uh, no DCE recovery or potential DCE mill. Um, we can come in with Spiritomb and attack without worrying too much about giving away prizes so easily. Um, obviously, we're in a stadium meta anyway, so it's not really going to be that useful. But it could give us just a turn or so where we don't give away a prize card where we might have. And that's going to be quite valuable. I did try Shedinja in this deck, but it just makes it a bit too clunky, unfortunately, in my opinion. You want to go a bit more turbo with this deck, hence why I've gone for the Acrobites. You could go for Acrobite, Judge Wrist, all that jazz, and really get things blowing out. But um, I kind of just like it the way it is right now. It's functioning pretty well. Still kind of thinking about the Leleys, but it is a, a get-out-of-jail card. Um, this deck doesn't tend to dead draw, but just if you do. I mean, we are playing, I think, eight supporters, which is usually my base minimum but just in case you know let's get this one in the active for now and see if we can find another dce here 
Well, we don't need. Oh, we do need three, six, nine. Okay, just. Oh wait, no, no. We are hitting 120, so we don't. We don't need the electro power just yet. So, I guess we could play it for thinning purposes. I don't see a Blacephalon GX going down or anything. So let's just be safe here. Um, do we Mew? No, I think we just Cynthia and uh, save that spot for Lele if we need need to. That's what I'm thinking at the very least. Shrine, yeah, we'll put it out anyway. Um, and I guess we could throw that on the spirit team. What's going on in the deck? So we do have some other stuff, but... Uh, we have Lily, so I am a bit more confident throwing down another Stunfist down. What's our DCE game looking like? We only have one. So is it really worth throwing another Stunfist down? Probably not. I think we just save that then. Yeah, we'll just we'll just save that. We're going to have to start attacking with Spirit Tomb soon, so that's a bit concerning. That is a bit concerning. Um... I was getting excited earlier on when I was building this. I was like, oh, we could even do TC. Oh, was it triple set, triple acceleration energy? T A E? T Tay? Is that what we're calling Tay? Oh, God. Um, I'm just going to call it triple, a uh, triple energy. I was thinking about doing triple energy, and I was like, oh, wait, it's only evolution. I was like, rip. <laughs> it would have been sick to like DCE and triple because you can you have a lot more um, consistency out of it, but that's just, well, it's not an evolution Pokemon, so that's the case. You can do things like counter energy, which is something I like, but. A lot of the time, you're going to be taking prizes very quick in this deck and going ahead quick. So, counter energy is not really useful. You can do um, a Tapu Koko thing, right? Where you can charge it up and then just keep lightning energy, but then you can't use the Spiritomb. See, there's a bit of an issue when it comes to the energy stuff if you want to use Stunfist more than the Spiritombs, but it's not really that much of an issue when you come to think about it. Um... But it doesn't like we're in, a, we're in a case now where we're just going to have to charge up our own spirit tombs and start attacking with them to take the last two prizes. But this is going to be such a tight game. Ah, we need that other DCE though, like big time. We really need the other DCE. So we have to find a DCE this turn or it's pretty much game. So we need to, we need to like, yeah, we need to make sure that's important. Okay. This is a bit of a tricky spot. But um, if, we're, if we're standing up to Babylon, or Blown, whatever we're going to call it, um, then I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing pretty good. They are milling their own deck out a little bit here. Are they going to go for a Heat Factory? Or have they already done that and I've just not paid attention? I'm going to guess it's the latter. <laughs> That's going to be me guessing that one. Um, yeah, uh, we do need that last DCE. Or if I have already used the last DCE, I don't know. Regardless, we are going to uh, promote this, this Spirit Tomb here because it's got the escape board. And then we'll just have to see what what happens. All right. Um, okay, damage mover, that's good. Uh, I think I'm going to drop the Lele just to see what's going on in the deck. And we do have the last DCE. So we, we have... Say there's a chance! Okay, let's damage move to the Lele. So risky, but that's just where we're at. There we are. We're going to play these Electro Powers because we're not going to need them again. That's for certain. Yeah, I know I did fail the Lele, but I didn't really need to get a Cynthia or anything because I knew this was going to be the case. So let's... Okay, let's put damage on you. Oh. And... Go! Come on, hit me with a DCE. Oh, we've whipped, we've whipped a DCE. But, 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 but... This is where it gets a bit fun. All right. Okay, okay, all right. Just don't get rid of this... Prism Star this turn, and we may have a bit of, of a chance. So, well, we could have Aqua Bikes and got a DCE, but we, we we didn't. Oh, we could have done this and got a DCE. Okay, maybe I did jump the gun a little bit there. Whoops. <laughs> um, okay. There we go. All right, we're going and hitting for 90 damage for now. We are going to get KO. Oh, 70, sorry. We are going to get KO'd, but so long as they don't... Um, get rid of this black market, then we are definitely um, good. Because they're just not going to take... Oh, they got rid of it. They got to done it. They got to done it. Oh. Oh, gosh. That's bad. That's really bad. That was my misplay. I think we could have got a win here if I didn't just so eagerly attach the energy to this spirit tomb. If I did go for the energy off the acro bike and hit the energy, then we would have been in a much better spot. Because he would have taken a prize this turn. And, oh, wow, they got the Guzma anyway. Well, well played, well played, well played, well played. Um, that is the big risk of playing Lele in here, is the Guzma plays. But nonetheless, 
I think it is quite important. Oh, you're going to go all out, aren't you? 400 damage, yeah. All right, fair play. Um, that's a bit of a shame, but we'll get into another game anyway because I do want to... Um, I, well, I, I do enjoy playing this, and uh, I do want to show off again how it works against a GX deck. I want to play a GX deck that we can just wreck, you know. You can hit some crazy numbers. I think the biggest amount of damage you can hit raw is 180, then choice band 210, electro power 240. That's one-shotting a Pika Rom. Um, you do need a lot more, though, to one-shot a Reshiram. I'll give you that one, but... Um, you are able to one-shot Pika Roms with this deck, so that's that's something to shout. Especially as a, as a single energy attacker, that can limit your opponent from prices as well with Black Market. So, but there's definitely room for improvement, I'd say, in this list. Um, this is just kind of a, a few um, games of testing and just kind of figuring out and fe having a feel for the deck more than anything. But uh, nonetheless, all right, let's see what we've got going on here then. Lele in the active is very bad. We can drop the Shrine this turn. Depends what we're up against here. I see Lightning and Water. Greninja, huh? He's playing a Greninja deck. Okay. Well, Shrine's going to be just dead. If, if this is what I think. But, oh, this is going to be such a tough game. Greninja is so tough to play against, man. Okay, okay. It's a spread deck. Um, Yeah, we need Mew. Definitely need Mew. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, because doesn't Greninja do 50 to 2 Pokemon? Is that right? Am I correct? I think it does, right? Oh, they've got their own shrine. Stop it. Stop it. Don't. Don't be like this, man. We're going to feel blow that bad boy away. Definitely. I mean, the cool thing is this turn, the Lele does have that damage that we need, but we need uh, we need a miracle right now. This is already looking very gloomish. All right. Okay. All right, we need get rid of a damage mover and an energy. We're going to get a Stunfist down right now. We have DCE. We're good to go on that. Um, we can actually damage move to the Stunfisk, but that's not really ideal. All right, let's do that. And I think we've got an Ultra Ball for a Lele, ironically. <laughs> I want to, uh, Mew. Let's get Mew. Let's get Mew. Let's just, let's just get in early on that. Let's definitely get in early on that. Uh, I want a damage move, but we need to get another Lele out. Because we need to draw, man. We need to draw right now. We're going we're to Lily for eight, which is really good. Um, hopefully we get like a, a way to retreat this turn because I want to attack. I want to get in early. Okay, no way to retreat. Better black market. Do we need that now? No, we don't. Damage mover? That's useful. Uh, let's damage move to the Mew. Uh, they cannot spread. Oh, did I misplay though? Did I misplay there? I might have misplayed. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the Stunfisk. No, we're gonna get rid of the hmm energy and the E power. And get ourselves a spirit tomb. The reason why I think I may have misplayed. Is we're already using our damage counters. We're almost all our damage counters. Just in case our Stunfisk gets Guzmid and knocked out somehow, right? Yeah. The reason I think I miss I'm just thinking about mentioning this. No. The reason I think I misplayed is because, well, uh, they can Guzmid this up with a Greninja and hit it for 50 damage and get the KO. So I think having the 10 damage on the Mew actually is very bad because that puts them in range so what i think we should do is probably find that last damage mover and get it off the mew we want to have that mew full hp it limits our damage but it goes from 180 to 150 150 is still one shotting this right so it's not that big a deal so i think what's crucial here is just yeah and definitely finding a field blower well i guess we can black market right um yeah, that's what we'd be doing. We might have to manually retreat this Lele here, actually. Oh, but that's so risky. Though. Okay, how about we bench you? Because we've already got a lot of damage on the board anyway. We don't need another Spirit Tomb. Oh, message. Um, yeah, we have to manually retreat the Lele now, definitely. So let's just let's just do that. It's, it's a DCE cost, which is so valuable in this deck. But here we go. So that's 3, 6, 9, 12. So we are one-shotting. There we are. Good stuff. Um, the shrine is gone, so we don't have to worry too much. 
I have considered max potion just in case damage does rack up a bit too much. But it's never happened yet, so not not certain on this. Alright, they have to just hit 50 to the active regardless, which is good. Um, yeah, because... Yeah, yeah, because of our muse, so that's that's good news. That's good news. But we do need we do need a damage mover because I'm just scared of them getting this in the active and taking it out in one shot. So we do need that last damage mover, that's for sure. We could go for a Guzma play um, and lock this Greninja up, but I want to take it. Oh, I just hit the mic. I want to take out the Greninja. Like that's just the the goal here. So it's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So we are. Oh wait, no, yeah, three, six, nine, twelve. We're hitting fifteen anyway. So all right. I think we just go for the attack here. Keep it safe. Heads, come on. Oh, wait, yeah, we need tails. <laughs> I was like, no! <laughs> no, we need tails. Okay. Remember, they need to flip the coin, not us. <laughs> All right, that's good news. Um, yeah, they've gone for the quit as well. Man, I've not really been able to show the full potential of this deck here. It feels a bit, of, feels a bit sad because uh, this deck just has incredible power. Um, do we? Yeah, we do. We go for another one. We're going to go for a third just to treat you guys. Um, or more to treat myself because I really like playing this deck. <laughs> um yeah i really want to i want to get like a, a peacorn and just blow one up like that's just what i want to do with this deck i mean it's not like that far from being unachievable right also from, from being achievable did i say that? i don't know um okay mulligan a bit of a shame they mulligan too all right sure <laughs> okay that's a decent start actually we can mess around a bit here. One thing I've realized with this list is, oh, are we playing Guzzlord? Hmm. Ooh, don't Guzzlord me, buddy. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, ain't happening, bud. I always, get, I always get a bit happy when I play Guzzlord decks. It's like, most of the time, it's like, yay, free win. <laughs> I'm sorry to absolutely poop on your Guzzlord players, but yeah, I thought it wasn't Guzzlord. Sometimes I speak a bit too uh, far ahead of myself. All right, I don't know if we're up against GX yet, so I'm just going to hold off on that. Um, and get another spirit tuned down. What's our no, 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 Lele. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a mistake. Um, yes, we want a supporter card. We want a Lily here. Okay, and we are going to damage move to the Lele. So we can do that just, just so we get an extra pull here. It's a bit greedy, but it's just so we get the extra pull. And so let's do that. And let's go for a Lily of six. Okay, we get another Stun Fist down. We do want another Spirit Tomb, ideally. So, ah, it's a bad Acro Bike. Yikes. Um, let's get, let's be greedy. Let's let's get rid of a Guzma and a Field Blower. Get another Spirit Tomb into play here. That's good, that's good, that's good. And I'm going to drop a Damage Counter on it, just in case we need to Damage Move next turn. So, that's the, the goal. And we're just going to pass. So, that's not the best turn one, but you know what? It's decent. We are still... Uh, guaranteed to be hitting 90 damage next turn. Electro power, that's 120. So we're definitely guaranteed 120 as long as we find the DCE. Um, so that's fine. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. That's not that bad. So we can definitely still win so long as they uh, <laughs> don't find a bench Pokemon, which they're probably going to do. Marshadow, the one and only Buzzwall counter. Um, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may discard any stadium card in play. If you do, discard this Pokemon or cards attached to it. That's kind of cool, actually. That's kind of cool. Because that, that can bypass the Prism Star thing. So that's going to... That's, that's definitely going to cause us issues. Oh, 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 Okay. This is actually one of my favorite tag teams out of this deck. Uh, de deck out of this list. Oh, God. Set. Out of this set, Sean. <laughs> one of my favorite tag teams out of this set. Uh, one, I love Zorak. One, I love Greninja. Two, I love the attack. It looks dope. I can't count. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, this can actually work in our favor here. That eventually. So let's just. Let's sacro bike. See what we pull. Uh, that's bad. That's so bad. Okay. Uh, Guzma. We have to keep the Guzma. We don't want to keep discarding stuff like that, man. Um, all right. Let's do that. I think we're just going to go for the Cynthia here. I mean, we need to hit DCE. So I have to just play this, right? Because I want to increase the odds of top decking what I want. I want to save these E powers for the Zorark Greninja. DCE me. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, all right, let's get another Spirit Tomb down. Let's just really go in right now. Yeah, we have Cynthia in hand. I was sitting there going, oh, do we need to Lele soon? <laughs> no, we good. We good. All right, let's do this. 
Uh, we're hitting some good damage right now. Sweet. Oh, not Raging Thunder. Electric Trap. There we go, 150. <laughs> so... You could see the, how, how powerful this can be, right? Turn 2, 150. We had the Electro. We could have done turn 2, 180. If we had the choice ban, that would have been 210, right? So, achievable stuff. Achievable stuff. Which, next turn, oh, we're going for the knockout. Oh, wait, no, we can't do 250, can we? We do 240. Oh, 10. Shrine. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I realize I'm speaking way too fast. I'll slow down. But so long as we have an E power, a full damaged bench... And a choice band, that's 240, right? And then if we have the shrine, that's 250. That's this magic number here. So, so, well, now we need the DCE. That's another card we need to get. But we have a chance to win this turn. We do. It's possible. We need a DCE and a damage mover and a shrine. That's such a big thing to ask for. Yeah. Still going to get DCE though, right? Yeah, we are. All right. We, we have hit a lot of damage here. Just just slightly missed it. It's a bit of a shame, but that's just where we're at. All right. Let's go in with the whatever damage we hit. That's two, 210. Yeah, 210. Oh, does the E power do 210? Oh, wait, no. This is 180 choice. Oh, no, we didn't do 180. Duh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, yeah, they're, they're in trouble. Definitely tell you that one. But uh, it seems like this is the, the case of them dead drawing rather than us doing good. But again, I mean, even if they had a pretty good ward state, we're still just going crazy right now. Bill's analysis. Oh, my God, Lily. Oh, buddy, I feel sorry for you. Don't tell me. Oh, my God. We are just, like, stomping through everything right now except that Placephalon. <laughs> but um, I, I don't think I can take this any longer, unfortunately. Like, that's so many... So many weird games, but you've seen some like incredible damage um, come out into play from this deck. It is such a fun meme. Go and try it out. It's definitely something that's uh, to keep an eye out for. Um, yeah, definitely give it a shot. It it's super fun. Um, but yeah, with that said, do leave a like if you did enjoy it, And of course, do subscribe for more. Um, and uh, let me know your thoughts down below on this list. And if there's any list you want me to try out, particularly from Unbroken Bonds, then do let me know. I'd love to know. But with that all said, do take care and peace.